Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And in this week's episode, I set myself a huge challenge involving 10 guitars. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday Talks. Back in November, I was in Post Electric Studios up in Scotland and that studio is owned by Rod Jones of Idleworld and Chris Pohl, and Rod has this amazing guitar collection. So while I was there, I thought it'd be really funny to play all his guitars, <laughs> as many as I could anyway, and play the same track 10 times, stitch them all together in a video and upload it, which I did. And the video, if you haven't seen it yet, is in the description. What I've been meaning to do for ages is use my own guitar collection to do exactly the same thing. Although the reason it's a challenge is because they're not all electric, so I can't just plug in. I'm gonna have to use a condenser mic on the acoustics and it's just me. So I'm gonna have to engineer myself and figure this all out so that it comes across nice and streamlined and a cool looking video. The first thing I need to do is actually come up with a guitar part. In the last video, I used an existing song called Cafe Vivaldi, and in this one, I wanna come up with something completely original. <laughs> I think I've come up with something that I've been writing for the last few months, but actually giving it some structure and also giving it some time to separate the tracks. Because if I were to play just continuously, it would be very difficult to edit and it would also possibly sound, uh, it would sound more disjointed. So. I don't want the piece to be too long because I want to keep it fast paced and keep it interesting for the viewer. So I think each section is probably only gonna be about two bars long for each guitar and just try and rattle through them as quickly as possible so that you can hear the, the tonal changes too. The next step of all this is actually gathering up all my guitars, which I've started to like find and lay out, but oh, this is gonna be so much tuning. This one isn't actually mine, it's a loan, and it's the one I took to LA with me as a little travel guitar, but now it's gonna find its way into another video, so. Ah. I am including bass in this too, so I've got my P bass by Fender, but I'm also gonna experiment with the Little Thunder as well, and kind of show off this guitar in its full glory. Last but not least is my first ever electric guitar that uh, you'll be happy to know I've left intact with all my stickers and everything. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To some of you, 10 guitars will seem like not enough, but to those that feel that this is a bit excessive, um, what can I say? They're the tools of my trade and they're not all super duper expensive. I've got a few sort of beginner guitars and, and some of them have been gifts too. So I'm really excited to do this now. <laughs> problems because obviously all the guitars, including this one, uh, are different sizes. So if I stand back here, it's 
gonna be cut off. Um, it's maybe a different lens on the camera. The thing is, I'm a bit fisheye with this lens. <laughs> Stay here, am I in focus? This camera is set. Hopefully I will stay in in the same place. Hopefully the lighting is good too. a challenging experience, definitely. I was using in-ear monitors so that I could hear click track so that it will be a lot easier to sync, but I was just getting lazier and lazier with the timing, so God knows what I've got to deal with now with 10 different guitars. Otherwise, I really hope that it turns out well because that's a lot of time gone into that. The highlights for me were definitely my favourite guitar, which is the GV Rock. Um, the Ernie Ball Music Man St. Vincent sounded great and hopefully both those will stand out as the, as the top instruments. I really hope the Little Thunder 2 sounds nice and that the bass can be heard through the YouTube video, same with the bass guitar, but we'll see. So maybe if you can, find some good speakers so that you can actually hear it once the finished video is up. In terms of acoustics, the Ortega travel guitar is going to sound very thin and nylon stringy in comparison to the others, um, but it was quite hard keeping the microphone off camera because otherwise it was going to block all the guitars for the whole thing. So my mic placement was quite uh, mediocre for the acoustic guitars. One of the acoustics, my, my Yamaha FG800M, um, only has one pin for a strap. So um, I was just sort of like balancing it. <sighs> God. My most recent acquisition is uh, a Dan Electro with lipstick pickups, um, reminiscent of the one that Stevie Ray Vaughan played. And that did sound great too. That sounded great through the amp. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this Tuesday Talks and taking you behind the scenes of the video uh, was interesting, hopefully, fingers crossed. My dream for this video is that other people have a go. So if you have preferably more than one instrument at home, then maybe you could see how different they sound or how similar they sound by stitching together a video of your playing maybe other musicians on, on this platform of YouTube could also have a go, or maybe some famous musicians with massive guitar collections, you know, like John Mayer or something, could, could have a go at this guitar challenge. Um, maybe we should all team up and try and get someone, uh, someone very successful to try and do it too. But a girl can dream. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.